A horrifying accident that could have ended in tragedy when a UGA track star was impaled by a javelin. I remember the story. It, it, we were all in shock yeah. when we saw it. Elijah Godwin is now recovering and doing well. He shared his story with our Karen Greer and photos from the ordeal are amazing. It's a story you're only going to see on CBS 46 and a warning. The images might be graphic. So Ginger Luby can't shake the image and I can still see the pole out of his back. Her son, Elijah Godwin, face down on a hospital bed, impaled by a javelin minutes away from surgery. A team of doctors were waiting on him, a trauma team of doctors waiting on him to get to that hospital and to take him immediately to surgery. I knew that they were trying to save my baby's life. Just hours earlier, the University of Georgia sprinter had been training for the SEC track and field championships. Now he lay face down with a punctured left lung and spear just millimeters from his heart. When I first realized how bad the situation was, I prayed. And once I prayed and like through prayer, I kind of was calm. It kind of calmed me down. Godwin remembers every step he took before his injury. He was running backwards during a sprints drill. I've seen the javelins. When I, before I checked, when I turned around and I kind of like got out of the way. But there was one javelin he didn't see. I didn't feel like the pain at all. So it was just like when, when, it, when it did hit me, the feeling was just like, I'm confused. Paramedics had to cut the pole in half in order to get him in an ambulance and to the hospital. Godwin focused on the sun. The sun was like beaming that day, like on the bleachers. So I was just staring at the bleachers. At first, Godwin was disappointed. His track season was cut short, but now there's reflection. Like, I'm using this time not to, not to be sad about not running track, but to find my purpose. A recent honor by the SEC has given him closure. He was named SEC Co-Freshman Runner of the Year for the outdoor season. When I got the award, I was like, okay, like it felt like a good ending to the season. Godwin will start physical therapy once his incisions have healed. My therapy now is just to relax. I do that all the time. Every his number one I fan can't wait to see him run again. This is going to be Elijah's story, you know, and that I believe everybody has to have one. Godwin tells me he's determined to be back on that track in time for the ACC indoor season this fall. For CBS 46 News, I'm Karen Greer.